Alright, so now we'll discuss the strengths and weaknesses of the behavioral approach. Um, some of the strengths are that the behavioral approach marked uh, a major shift in leadership research because it went from exclusively trait-focused to including behaviors and actions of leaders. Secondly, it's a, there's a broad range of studies on leadership styles that validates and gives credibility to the basic tenets of the approach. This broad range is discussed, you know, from University of Michigan and the Ohio State University and that uh, group me and mutant person, whatever the frick that was. 